hi guys it's kiana and welcome back to my channel that i have not been neglecting i wasn't neglecting it guys like i just couldn't post because i ain't got no camera but i finally got a new phone and this probably end up in a different vlog you know i pretty much do not know how to do videos anymore this is complete it feels like i'm a youtube virgin again it feels so awkward talking to a camera but anyway today is good friday i think i'm not super religious i don't know the date so anyway today is good friday and we're supposed to be having like a all day curfew in jamaica where everybody's supposed to be in them house which them not in them house because them people here don't have no discipline so we're supposed to have an all day curfew for you know covid and uh, not to see you people outside everybody's supposed to be inside it does not work but i am inside so i thought i'd do like a 24 hour reading vlog where i just read as much books as i can today and what time it finished tomorrow and uh, so i enjoy like the little holiday that we have and then tomorrow i start doing essays for school because i've been neglecting my essays i'm like four essays due next week eh? <sighs> so yeah this is a reading vlog guys and uh, i'll be reading four books today four yeah four Maybe when it comes to the manga volumes, it depends, but four stories then. So the first one is Which is Deep Tingle by Shannon Smart. And this is, I, I'm 50, 50 pages in, and this is going to be in another vlog. This is going to be in a Which is Deep Tingle vlog, but I'll be reading some of it today. You know, these kids are supposed to be in their house. Covid don't affect children. Why are they outside? Anyway. And the next one is Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 8. And I've been reading Jujutsu Kaisen from last year. Religiously. And then I stopped at Volume 8. And this is where the anime ends as well. So I am going to start back. So I need to catch up on everything. I've read the latest chapter that came out Sunday. And I have no idea what's going on in the middle because I have the official app that it comes out on so I just I just pre because I know a lot of shit been going down in Jujutsu Kaisen like we have the Shibuya massacre and like I follow weebs on Twitter I know all the spoilers I know who dead I know who do dead I know who live whatever whatever so I love this I really really enjoy everything that I've read before so we're going to continue with this and volume 9 comes out this month actually next week it comes out next week so I'm going to get volume 9 as well but I'll catch up after I finish volume 8 I'll catch up on the official app so yeah and I think the next book is uh, what's the next book oh yeah I am going to read, not read, listen to We Are The Animals by Justin Torres. Is it We Are The Animals or We The Animals? It's We The Animals by Justin Torres. And I need to read this for school because I have a presentation on it next week, Tuesday. So I'm going to listen to the audiobook and I have the audiobook here on Audible. So I'm going to do that while I finish my hair and I'm going to continue listening to it while i make my dinner so yeah and me i cook uh, jerk chicken pasta tonight uh, and to be honest i'm sorry for my granny because uh, that shit gonna be spicy because i need my pasta and my jerk chicken to be spicy but that's what i'm going to do i think i also have uh, did i mention that i need to read uh, waiting for Godot? that's for another class that's for a drama class uh, I don't remember who the author is but it's a tragic comedy play so i need to do that as well and i'm also going to be reading a webtoon called dying 
wait was it was it was it i don't even remember but i was on lenzen legend lesson i have no idea what lesion whatever comics and the app i was on it and i love vampires i am absolutely a whore for vampires make it gay vampires you have my right dear so you have me so i'll be reading that it's time with a vampire and i don't remember what the author's name is okay the writer is panjin and the author is Pinko. so i'll be reading that on the app can you see the cover like i need to maybe i need to bring it down i read the first chapter this morning like actually not this morning like a couple minutes ago i read the first chapter and i'm really enjoying it so i'll be reading that so yeah that is what i'll be reading this 24 hour readathon i've never done a 24 hour readathon before so we'll see how it goes maybe i'll sleep maybe i won't it depends i haven't been usually my bedtime is like at eight o'clock but for the past few days i haven't i haven't slept until i haven't gone to my bed until i think after two in the morning so we see what time i go to bed and it's also now Mm, 2 52 p.m so i think uh, i'll end the reading about that three o'clock tomorrow or the readathon or the whatever what do you people call these things anyway bye guys uh, until my next update arms we had bird bones hollow and light and we wanted more density more weight we were six snatching hands finished with we the animals and i'm almost finished with uh, dying with the vampire i think i'm almost finished i mean dying with the vampire has 43 chapters currently and i'm at chapter 16 so am i almost finished i don't know it doesn't take i don't think it will take me an hour to finish that but i am almost finished with we the animals i have 34 minutes left i don't currently have it have my tablet with me because it's charging so i'm going to finish that tonight and i'm going to finish down with the vampire tonight before 12 o'clock and i think i'll finish stutsu kaisen before 12 o'clock as well but for we the animals i'm actually really enjoying it to be honest i went into it not knowing what the hell it's about i just know i needed to really for school and that i have a presentation on it next week that's all but so far it's about a dysfunctional family i mean you have three brothers three they're young i think the youngest is seven years old and it's just like their little adventures with their family and it's very interesting to get an insight of a dysfunctional family from a younger point of view from the youngest because we're getting it from the seven year old and uh, i'm quite enjoying it i'm i think uh, they're mixed 
I remember correctly from listening their mix and their mother is white and their father is Puerto Rican and she had them in her teenage years so she had she had her first child when she was 14 and her and the father was 16 apparently he lied to her saying that she wouldn't get pregnant because she had she had no prior knowledge about uh, sex education and he lied to her and yeah you can imagine what happened after that so it's interesting to see i'm off the belief i'm off the belief that he hits the mother now i'm pretty sure the father hits the mother i'm pretty sure and there's this one scene spoiler alert for anybody who doesn't who haven't or doesn't wait so spoiler alert for people who haven't read the book there is one scene where there's this character lena and she just shows up once and there's a kiss and i think the the a kiss between the mother and lena which is her co-worker and i think the kids are kind of zooming in on something like hmm something is fun there something something is there but we never see anything more about it so i'm not sure if it's like a little sapphic love but i kind of hope so because i need that woman to lift that man i need it so and if you hear squealing my cat had kittens huh? and yeah they're under that dresser right there so yeah i am interested to see how it ends and uh, that's my update i think i'm going to try and brave the curfew and see if any shops are open because i want a soda and i also want ice cream so if there isn't any open that's a good sign because obviously it should not be open but if not open i'm gonna come look i shouldn't be outside but i still gonna look because obviously no police now work because if they're not work nobody would go tell them oh but i want ice cream and i'm gonna brave it like the shop is like two houses down so if it open it open if it not open it not open and not just so so that's my updates for tonight and i guess my next update would be when i finish the two stories and maybe if i finish Jujutsu Kaisen as well so that's my next update so peace wait peace <laughs> cargo shorts and pants we fastened everything with green canvas belts and sliding army buckles there were cabs and bandanas and exactly <laughs> Okay guys, so a quick update. It's now almost 1.30 a.m. And I'm sorry, but I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I guess that my usual bedtime is like after 8. I think I've said that. My usual bedtime is like after 8 in the night. And I fell asleep. I don't even know when I fell asleep. Like I was on my phone and I just knock out but i just wake up like after 12 going to one and i went on twitter because that's usually what i do as soon as i wake up i'll go on twitter or i check whatsapp i see if my boyfriend is still asleep or still awake or whatever and i look at my messages them so i went on twitter and you know twitter doing this space kind of thing and i went on twitter and so i'm also a part of jamaica and Twitter, so now they're having like a discussion on sexuality and i click on the space and as soon as i wake up you know i click on the space and they're freaking talking about spitting mouths and they're talking about eating ass and i'm like what the fuck is this what i wake up to I, <laughs> almost one o'clock in the morning why the hell y'all not asleep it's interesting but, but i want to see if this is the height of uh, how freaky Jamais jamaicans can get so i hope not because uh, like maybe soon they'll talk about pegging i want to hear them talking about pegging like first i'm hearing the females talk about uh, first i'm hearing the woman talking about you know and how it feels to eat um get their ass eaten and i'm like uh, are the men going to talk about getting pegged? I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Anyway, guys. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you that I'm not finished with 
be the animals because I kind of got bored of this mosquito. Not kind of bored, but like I got sleepy. Like, so I have 17 minutes left in the audiobook, and I'm going to hurry up and finish that, and then I am going to finish Dan with the vampire, then go straight into Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm kind of hungry as well, so I might make some cornflakes and we'll see if I fall asleep back again or not. So, so it's 4.15 a.m. and I'm finished with We the Animals. I'm also all caught up with all the chapters of Dying with a Vampire and to be honest guys, I don't know who told me say, to read these two stories back to back, but it's been pain. A whole lot of pain. Too much pain, to be honest. Because, uh, I mean, I, I knew while reading We the Animals is about a dysfunctional family, but I was not expecting the ending at all. Like, for, right now, I understand what they mean by them being animals because uh, what the fuck that ending caught me off guard but i enjoyed the story i give it five not five stars four out of five stars and uh, i got a lot to sh i have a lot of shit to say in my presentation coming on tuesday i just uh, yeah because uh, what the fuck was that ending i was not expecting that and then we have dan with a vampire so we have a vampire who doesn't drink human blood or can't drink human blood because it smells gross i think but he kills vampires and eat their arts so we have a vampire that does that but one day he meets this guy that works at his restaurant i think it's a restaurant so he cut himself and his blood smell so good to him and you can't expect what's going on from there but our the love interest is was in a abusive relationship with his best friend and it's just pain 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 but it's so so good i'm going to give it five stars i'm going to give it five stars my heart is not my heart is yeah it's broken so i am going to read jujitsu guys i know because obviously i like pain because jujitsu guys and it's all about freaking pain that's that that's this ammo what the hell does MO mean? Am I using MO correctly? But We the Animals, Diamond of Vampire, I enjoy them. So it's going good. Also, I need to go read Waiting for Godot. Maybe I should reading I should read Waiting for Godot first. Huh? But that's a tragic comedy, so it's going to be pain too. It's all about this reading vlog is a pain reading vlog. This is about angst. So we're good. So I'll see y'all in the next updates. <laughs>
if I get into the supermarket before 10 o'clock, which I will, I'm going to listen to Waiting for a Gado on audiobook. So we're going to do that. So I am back home. It's now, uh, I don't even know. It's something o'clock. And I'm back home. I got to the supermarket before before 10 o'clock i got to the supermarket with 10 minutes to spare but i went to the supermarket and the supermarket is fucking packed and they close at 10 right the supermarket's packed i was like okay i'm just going to take up like 10 items so i can get to the express line i go through the place looking for somewhere not somewhere something that i would eat like i know what i like when i go to the supermarket i mostly buy the same things so everything that i would eat fucking empty so i pick up a, a little of things a little bit of things that i would attempt to eat like and then the line was so fucking long i was like you know what fuck it because the last time i went to the supermarket i never got through until 11 even though i finished shopping 10 o'clock so i was still in the supermarket after the supermarket closed so i was going to do that when i could probably get something more to eat somewhere else so i left the place and i went to kfc kfc line long kfc line long 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 finally got into kfc i bought a bucket but i wanted barbecue chicken but guess what no freaking barbecue like i don't eat original chicken original chicken is who buys original chicken I wanted barbecue, but they didn't have any. So I got spicy and I got barbecue, not barbecue, I got spicy and I got spicy and original. I got spicy and original and I got corn on a cob. I got like three and I got some. And I got a barbecue famous bowl because that's the only thing they had barbecue in. But as soon as the person puts on my things in the bucket and call my name call my number no barbecue that's a come out sir. no barbecue that upset upset but it's not like i could say could you um take out the original and give me barbecue instead please i couldn't and i wouldn't so i didn't do that and Yeah, now I have like nine piece chicken, like six of, not six of them. How do you divide that? Would I go, could I want some of them being original? And I don't eat original chicken. Original chicken just doesn't hit. As a Jamaican, if you buy original chicken, I believe something is wrong with you because the barbecue chicken is right there. The barbecue is right there. Yeah, that is my little outing. And I also did not read it. I like i did not read anything i was too focused on trying to get food i mean it's two days it's two days i mean on sunday you and on sunday you ain't in there on sunday you cook your sunday dinner i'll assume maybe not but the day that you i don't know man i just think it's two days and there's no reason for all the food to be gone it's two days it's two days it's two fucking days anyway i am going to read waiting for gado right now and do something <laughs> Hey guys so it's my final update for the 24 hour reading vlog and i think for my very first reading vlog it was a success i mean i went over the 24 hours but that's because i wanted to no other reason than i wanted to but it was enjoyable i think i enjoyed it 
I actually enjoyed every single book I read. This is so fucking mean. That looks better. So I think I enjoyed every book I've read over the past day. Uh for some reason I was just about to switch into Japanese. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I enjoyed all the books I read, um, which were like Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 8 and I read Volume 9 as well, currently reading Volume 10 and uh, to be honest, I did not read Waiting for Gado. I did not, like I started the audiobook and I was like, Jujutsu Kaisen is looking very, very appealing right now. So I did not read Waiting for Gado. And then we have uh, Gang with a Vampire, which uh, fucking broke my heart. Like, why are you doing that shit? Why? What's with the pain and the manuals that I pick up? The manuals I pick up have so much pain. Pain, like, so much, so much angst. Like, I know I gravitate to angst, but why when I look at a picture and I think this is going to be a romantic story and I'm just i just dash and just dash me in the angst um, why but diamond the vampire was good i can't wait to i don't know which day is the chapters update but i'll be looking forward for to the next chapter because chapter 43 i think it was chapter 43 is whew, So I gave that five stars and we have, uh, which other book did I read? Which other book did I read? We the Animals, which I gave four stars. And uh, it was very interesting to read The Dysfunctional Family. I think I've mentioned this before. And the ending caught me off guard with, uh, to be honest, I, I mean, the episode, the chapters were episodic. But I still was not expecting that final chapter, like, uh, what the fuck? I don't even want to say anything about it too much, like, if anybody, ha anybody hasn't read it, but, like, uh, they sent my boy, they sent my boy or narrator, spoiler alert, or narrator, I think, to conversion camp. I think that's where they sent him. They didn't really... They said, like, it was just out of nowhere. Like, why? Why? Like, his mom, his father, his brothers, and I'm like, why? Why would you do that? So, I have a lot of thoughts about it, which I can't even articulate right now, but for my presentation on Tuesday, I have a lot of thoughts that I am going to be just uh, talking about them. So we're going to do that on Tuesday. I'm going to get a good grade. I'm going to get a good grade. I'm going to get a good grade because uh, I have a lot of things to say. And which other book did I read? Which is Tipped in Gold. To be honest, I really, really like which is Steve Tingle. I won't say too much about it because that's for another vlog. But what I will say is, uh, man annoys me. It annoys me. It annoys me. And that is all. I took up my Kindle because I have the e arc on my Kindle. And I searched how much time, how many times man shows up. It's 98 times. I hope in the official release that's later this month, them get cut down. And if they don't get cut down, change them to mana, not mana. Anyway, Jujutsu Kaisen, Jujutsu Kaisen. I think those two, the two volumes I read were my favorites. Um, where I had stopped last year when I was reading was right where the anime ended this year like uh, volume 8 the start of volume 8 and we got the flashback arc with uh, gojo ghetto 
and when they were at Jiu Jitsu I when they were students and I love seeing their backstory. Volume nine focuses more on ghetto 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 damn ghetto ghetto <laughs> apparently my japanese is failing me today um ghetto and gojo's past and we're coming to see how they drifted apart like we know we now know why ghetto is um, the way it is why he's the one of the antagonists of the story and we got to see ghetto why did i say ghetto again we got to see gojo come into his power which is amazing it's all gojo supremacy right here gojo supremacy all the way but in volume nine what the middle of volume eight to volume nine when we met toji which is megumi's father manalai gege had me rooting for him gege had me rooting for him but uh, he was there and he was there to help my boy grow into his power what i have to say about toji is that toji just his name toji I love him. I wish. I wish. I got to see more of him in the volume. Told you. Told you. Anyway, I enjoyed all the books I read. Did I read anything more? I read a ton of fanfics. Fanfics. Um, there was this one fanfic, Andrew fanfic, that I updated yesterday from one of the few ongoing stories that i'm following i don't like following ongoing stories because uh, me and uno nah do it so i like a full story but this one is called coffee on coffee and lies by i forgot the author but uh, it's an amazing story where andrew meets uh, like all 22 personalities uh, of neil like from his life on um on the run and it's so so amazing it's so amazing they finally kissed in yesterday's chapter and i am soft soft so i'm going to wrap this up right here so this is the end of my 24 hour reading vlog it was enjoyable it was nice i did not fucking sleep you see these eyes Other than the four hours that I fell asleep when I was reading on Friday night, I have not slept a wink again. I'm tired. I'm going to wash off my face and go to my bed. Because tomorrow I'm going to start my essays. Like I said, I have three essays too <laughs> in the coming week. Well, you know, it's, it's like really hitting me that... Uh, I have a lot of work to do and that don't feel good it doesn't so bye guys maybe i'll upload upload this video maybe i won't we'll see i'm going to make my booktube return